Hi class, so welcome to week 11 of professional profile development. Um, this is kind of crunch time for you guys. So you have your large service learning project, which is a significant portion of your grade this term. Uh, we're kind of, um, well, we are getting down to a very um, strict deadline. Uh, we have the event coming up on April 10th. Uh, we've kind of been delayed on our marketing or our flyer pieces. Uh, simply just because, so this is the old one. I think you guys have seen this. Horticopia with the tree. I posted that before. This now says Sustainapalooza. Um, but we're still working on adding those businesses or companies that you guys are engaging with. Uh, to that poster and what's actually going on. So there's kind of been a lack of communication as to what each group is doing uh, at the event, what type of posters are they having, what type of activity to engage the audience, uh, who's actually coming. Uh, simply sending emails and waiting around and hoping that a group or an organization will respond uh, isn't working so we really need to by thursday this week reach out contact um, all the organizations you guys had on your list so that we can um, pull off this sustainapalooza event um, right now um, it's kind of looking scary we just don't have um, a lot of groups or educational programs involved and we're getting to the point that it's almost too late to add anyone. Uh, so we're gonna have to use some creative uh, strategies potentially to get some people. Uh, so there might be program areas that do sustainable practices already and we can integrate them through an educational thing. Maybe we reach out to the wellness center and see if they can do yoga. Uh, in the courtyard that day or some type of wellness related activity uh, because we need to uh, engage as many different groups as possible to make this a sustainapalooza and not just a little event. Um, so there are three different teams when it comes to this project. There's one that's more so the event planning team which is kind of um, the planning overview team, planning, organizing it, overseeing all of the other groups. Um, so those on that group should be touching base with the multiple different groups to see how things are going, uh, what's working, what's not working. We also have the day of event execution, volunteer coordinator, a uh, group that needs to um, find those volunteers for the day. Who's going to help out with executing this event? Are any of you students going to show up the day of the event? Uh, what do we need for tables? What do we need for chairs? Who do we contact? How do we coordinate those things? Uh, so I do have a campus contact list. Uh, I can't just post it out there, but I can give you the contacts you need for different information. So you guys need to reach out from those groups so that I can tell you who you need to contact in facilities, for example, to get tables reserved. Um, I do have some students in my face-to-face -face class that are willing to volunteer for the event too, but we need to know when we need volunteers there, what we need them to help out with, all of those sort of aspects. So that needs to be finalized again this week by the end of the week. Um, and then we have the community outreach and marketing. Um, I know several teams have taken over um, outreach and marketing just because that is an extensive part of this initial phase of the project. But I need to make sure that you guys are all reaching out and uh, connecting with them. Uh, so a few things I want to update you guys on because I, um, I stepped in and contacted a few different groups just to um, get these balls rolling and make this happen. Uh, so Tracy Cracker from Early Childhood Education actually has a student that's going to do um, a project. She needs to do one. So she, um, from the Early, Adult, or Early Childhood Education Program, will um, have a student doing that one for that day. And then that will be something related to a kids' activity and sustainability because we'll be bringing over the YWCA um, students. Rita will take care of that, uh, and they will also actually participate in the Tree Campus USA tree planting that takes place. So Genevieve, who um, works in sustainability, is actually reaching out to see when their nap time is, so we know when we need to have those booths, and I will post that 
in Blackboard for you guys. Um, other groups we have, I reached out to Community Engagement, which is the organ or the group here on campus that's in charge of all things service learning, and they're a great resource for you guys to reach out to as well. Chris Farber specifically, um, he can help you guys with some of the planning of a service learning related project. Uh, so Community Engagement is going to have a booth the day of the event and they are going to have um, fresh produce that they'll be handing out for free. Uh, student government is still a maybe but a pretty positive maybe. They actually do a campus cleanup around campus. Uh, they're doing their event a different day just because they couldn't get the volunteer numbers for April 10th. However, um, they're looking at how they can still do a smaller scale cleanup on the day of event. So once I hear back from them, I will let you guys know and pass on that information. Um, you guys had a few. Um, you guys have on here the landscape and horticulture as well as the Hillview Urban Agriculture Center. Uh, as confirmed yeses, but we need to know like what their themes are, what do they need, do they need a table, do they need easels, uh, what are we looking at, what are they doing, uh, so we need to share that information and communicate it on our horticopia, also called sustainability list that you guys have going. Um, I have it printed out here, so it's the wiki that kind of looks like this. Um, so that's where we are at on those uh, companies or businesses that have um, confirmed so far. Uh, out in the Slack channel, I posted a list of all of our clubs and groups here on campus. Uh, several of them are related to programs we have on campus. So we can reach out to these programs uh, with a phone call is going to be the best way, especially with the vast amount of email that a lot of these individuals get, to see if we can incorporate them into the event. I would really like to see us have the sustainable vehicles that we have on campus uh, incorporated into this event. We also have the ITC, uh, Integrated Technology Center, with all of the uh, programs over there that look at sustainable practices, building houses, um, working with Habitat for Humanity, all of these different groups that are already doing projects that maybe they can just come and share and do an educational um, standpoint on those. Uh, so we need to get those things hammered down and finalized by Thursday this week uh, so that we can make this a go. We need to start figuring out how many tables we need, how many booths, um, and whatever else we need. So we need to make sure that you guys are all communicating um, with one another and executing that. With that being said, on the Slack channel, 